Hi, Robins. How are you today? Good. I'm so glad. Well, why don't we all get moving? I thought it'd be fun to do our circle dance for the last time this year. Let's do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Nicely done. Okay, let's sing Make New Friends. Here we go. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round. It has no end. That's how long you're going to be my friend. You will always be my friend, Robins. Speaking of friends, let's read a book about making new friends. This is called Little Bear's Friend. The words are by Elsie Minerick, and the pictures are by Maurice Sendak. He is a pretty famous illustrator. Let's find out what happens to Little Bear. This chapter is called Little Bear and Emily. Little Bear sat in the top of a high tree. He looked all about him at the wide, wide world. You get a good view from high up in the tree, don't you? He saw the green hills, he saw the river, and far, far away he saw the blue sea. He saw the tops of trees, he saw his own house, and he saw Mother Bear. He could hear the wind sing, he could feel the wind on his fur, on his eyes, on his little tiny black nose. He shut his eyes and let the wind brush him. He opened his eyes and he saw two little squirrels. Play with us, they said. No time, said Little Bear. I have to go home for lunch. What do you think bears eat for lunch? You're probably right. I think you're right. Maybe honey. He began to climb down and saw four little birds. Look at us, they said. We can fly. I can too, said Little Bear, but I always fly down. I can't fly up or sideways. He climbed down some more and saw a little green worm. Hello, said the little green worm. Talk to me. Some other time, said Little Bear, I have to go home for lunch. He climbed all the way down. And there he saw a little girl. Uh-oh. I think I am lost, said the little girl. Could you see the river from the treetop? Oh, yes, said little bear. I could see the river. Do you live there? I feel bad that she's lost. Yes, said the little girl. My name is Emily, and this is my doll, Lucy. I am Little Bear, and I can take you to the river. What is in that basket? Cookies, said Emily. Have some. Thank you. I love cookies. So do I, said Emily. They walked along, eating cookies and talking, and soon they came to the river. I see our tent, said Emily, and my mother and father. They have a tent. They must be camping. And I hear my mother calling, said Little Bear. I have to go home for lunch. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Little Bear. Come back and play with me. I will, said Little Bear. He was very helpful, wasn't he? She was lost, and he helped her get home. It's a kind thing to do. Little Bear went skipping home. He hugged Mother Bear and said, Do you know what I just did? What did you just do, Little Bear? I climbed to a treetop. And I saw the wide world. I climbed down again, and I saw two squirrels, four little birds, and a little green worm. Then I climbed all the way down, and do you know what I saw? What did you see, said Mama Bear. 
I saw a little girl named Emily. She was lost, so I helped her to get home. And now I have a new friend. Who do you think it is? Hmm, said Little Bear's mother. Could it be the little green worm? Little Bear laughed. No, he said, it is Emily. Emily and I are friends. This is the second chapter. It's called Duck Babysitter. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen in a chapter called Duck Babysitter. Let's find out. Owl was having a party. Little Bear, Emily, and Lucy were on the way to Owl's house. They came to the pond where Duck lived, and there was Duck babysitting. Little Bear looked at all the ducklings. He asked, will the mother of Duck be back soon? Oh, yes, said Duck. Wait for me. I can go to the party as soon as she comes back. Emily put Lucy down and said, Oh, what darling ducklings. I wish I could hold one. Just call them, said Little Bear. My goodness, said Duck. I think I have lost one. <gasps> Little Bear and Emily began to look for it. Uh-oh. should never lose something you're babysitting. Little Bear looked at all the tall reeds. He said, If I were a duckling, that is where I would swim. It would be like swimming in a forest. He looked in the tall reeds, and there was the duckling swimming about and having fun. There's a little duckling. Hello, little peep. I see you, said little bear. Peep, said the duckling, and swam out to the others. Just in time, too, because his mother had come back. Hooray, said duck. Now I am free. Now we can go to the party. They went skipping along. Emily said, I think ducklings are lovely. Yes, said Little Bear, and owlets are nice too. Owl says they are. Emily laughed. Oh, she said, I love all little animals. Me too, said Little Bear. Little Bear, Emily, Lucy, Cat, Duck, and Hen all came to Owl's party. Cat looked at Lucy. Who is that, he said. That is Lucy, said Little Bear. Lucy is Emily's doll. Yes, said Emily, and she tells me things. She wants to tell me something now. What, said Cat. I can't hear her. Emily put her head down to Lucy's head. What is she saying, asked Hen. Hmm. Yes, tell us, said Duck. She is saying, said Emily, that she wants to sit up here and Emily made Lucy sit in a little tree. See, said Little Bear, Emily knows what Lucy wants. Let's eat, said Cat. There's all the friends at the party. Owl came out of his house. He said, here are the party hats. Put them on. So they all put on party hats and laughed at each other. Then they sat down to eat. Look at Lucy, said Duck. She wants to come down. They all looked, and there was Lucy coming down all by herself. Oh, oh, cried Emily. Lucy will break. And Lucy did break. She broke her arm. Uh-oh. That's sad, right? Oh, Lucy, Emily was crying. She picked up her doll and hugged her. Don't cry, Emily, said Little Bear. We can fix her. The little bear is trying to make his friend feel better. I'll get some tape, said Al. So little bear fixed Lucy. There, he said. Ask her how she feels now. Emily put her head down to Lucy. She says she feels fine, said Emily. And she says, you are a very good doctor, little bear. Tell her thank you, said little bear. Anytime she breaks an arm or a leg, I will fix it. He fixed the doll. Owl laughed. No more today, pl please, he said. Emily made Lucy sit down. Hen asked, is she saying something? Yes, said Emily. She wants to begin the party. And that is just what they did. It was a very fine party indeed for Lucy. She said to herself, hmm, this is a good party. 
they're having fun with their hats. This chapter is called Your Friend, Little Bear. Summer was over and Emily was saying goodbye. It was time to go back to school. Mother Bear baked a cake. Little Bear made lemonade. Mother Bear said, let's let us eat up all the cake. If we do, then it will not rain tomorrow. Let it rain, said Little Bear. Emily will not be here tomorrow to play with me. Anyhow, said Emily, we can eat up the cake and we can drink the lemonade. And little Bear's getting sad because his friend is going home. So they all ate cake and they drank the lemonade and they talked and they talked. Then it was time for Emily to go home. How does Little Bear look? Oh, sorry. Wait. Can you see how Little Bear's looking? A little sad, I think. Father Bear said, Don't let Lucy break any more arms. Oh, no, I won't, said Emily. Emily hugged her doll and said, Lucy wants to say goodbye, too. Say goodbye to Little Bear, Lucy. Emily made Little Bear hold Lucy. Aww. Then she said to him, Little Bear, you can have Lucy for keeps. I will give her to you. Oh, began Little Bear. But before he could say anything, Emily took Lucy right back again. Oops, she said. I forgot. Lucy has to come to school with me. Emily opened her pocketbook. She took out a fine new pen. This is for you, she said. I want you to have it. Little Bear took the pen. Thank you, Emily, he said. He ran to his room and came back with a pretty toy boat. This is for you, he said, for keeps. You can sail it in your bathtub. They're giving each other little gifts. Isn't that nice? Thank you, said Emily. I will. Goodbye, little bear. See you next summer. Little bear stood at the door till Emily was out of sight. Two big tears ran down his face. Mother bear saw them and took him on her lap. My goodness, little bear, she said, you will be going to school too, and you will learn to write, and then you can write a letter to Emily. Just like Frog wrote a letter to Toad. Do you remember? Little bear can begin right now, said Father Bear. He got out some paper and said, little bear can write his own name. Yes, said Mother Bear, with his fine new pen. She took little bear's paw in hers and helped him to begin. That made Little Bear very happy. He said, when can I write to Emily? Soon, said Mother Bear. And soon he did write to Emily. Like this. Dear Emily, it is snowing. I love the snow. I wish I could send you some. Owl, duck, hen, and cat send their love. So do the ducklings. I cannot wait for summer. Your friend, Little Bear. How do you think Emily felt when she got that letter? You're right. I think she was really happy to hear from her friend. All right, Robins. It was a lot of fun reading to you. Tomorrow, we are going to do some small Zooms, and it's going to be PJ Day. So I'll send the information out to your family, and when you, do, when you show up for the Zoom... Let's all wear our PJs and we'll have a little party. Bye, Robins. I miss you.